Hello YouTube, today I'd like to show you this tool called Reflector 2. This helps you stream your devices such as phones and tablets from Apple, Windows and Android. So whatever you see on your phones and tablets can also be seen on your laptops or desktops. So this is perfect for you to present to your students, your customers or your users. So if you're trying to do an instructional video on a certain app, you can pull this up and it's going to record everything that you do on your phone or your tablet so the users can see what you're doing. Uh, if you're trying to show somebody just something special about your apps or your project or whatever it might be that you, that's on your phone, maybe even videos or pictures, this can be done through this thing too. So if you're at the conference presenting, everything that you see on your phone can also be seen by everyone else. So if you're trying to see, show somebody pictures, videos, apps, projects, this can be done with Reflector 2. So everything that was running on this side is what I did with my phone and recorded it. So I put two videos together, one from uh, my camera and one from my phone or iPad. So now I will show you how to get this and how to use it on a laptop. So let's jump into it. Alright, so this is what the website will look like. You have Reflector 2. Uh, the actual website is airsquirrels.com. They actually have a couple different products, uh, but the only one that I use as of now is uh, reflector 2 so these are just a couple of images that they have to show you what this thing can do and I will also show you how to connect your phone or your iPad to a laptop or desktop so this is just basically their website it says on here buy $14.99 so it does cost $14.99 per computer so it's actually not expensive at all I purchased it as soon as I found out about it uh, so once you purchase it you are ready to use it it's also available for Apple, Windows, and Android devices. Now let me show you how it looks like when you pull it up on your um, laptop or desktop. So I'll lower down this website and I will connect to my iPhone first. So this is my iPhone or my MacBook Pro. Um, I can go through it so whatever I do will show up on my laptop. I can resize it, make it smaller or bigger, whatever you want to do. Um, you can select the mic, which mic you want to record, and you record a video. So you can record a video. This, when you click record right here, it will only capture the iPhone or, or the iPad or the tablet, whatever it might be. So when you click record, it will only capture that device that's on there, like it was in my video. So it will not capture the background of your laptop or desktop or anything like that. So it will only capture the phone. You can also uh, you can also change the design of your phone so if you have a pink or blue or red or gold whatever you have you can change it on here as well um, you can also do if it's a 6 plus or a 6 so mine is actually iPhone 5 so I will collect uh, I will select iPhone 5 white so this is mine, so my actually one idol. So this is how the iPhone looks like. Another thing that you can do is you can pull up the iPad and iPhone at the same time. I'm not sure if you can, if you can do the same thing with the tablets on Windows and Android, but it works for iPhone and iPad. So right now, so right now I have, um, So right now I have the iPhone and my iPad up here at the same time. So you can show both. I'm guessing if you want to compare two products on the different uh, devices, you can do this. So how to connect an iPad or iPhone. So you will slide up your menu. So down here you see it says uh, DK's MacBook Pro, that's my MacBook. And if you turn this off, it will disappear. If I turn it back on, it will reappear. Same thing goes for the phone so it goes black because I don't use it so same thing for the iPhone so if I disconnect it like this and connect it back up it will come right back up as well so this is how to just connect um, the iPhone 
the iPad and I'm guessing it works the same way for Windows and Android phones as well or uh, tablets. I don't have any of those so I cannot help you out or show you how to use that. So if I do get my hands on any of those, I will make a video for that as well. So this is it. If you have any questions, please ask. Please share, comment and subscribe. I will leave all the information on the description below as well, all the links that you need to get this app or the tool. Um, I will see you next time. Like I said, please subscribe, share and comment. If you have any questions, put them down and I will answer it. Thank you so much and I will see you soon.